Okay, yesterday I got my trimming done. I did leave in a hurry and obviously didn't clean up my mess. Today I will clean my mess. The trimming is done. I did get the trimming done over here. That I trimmed everything and I put them on a board on paper. And when these bowls, the other bowls are over there, they're a little firmer now. I can get them upside down. You always want your bowls to dry upside down. I get my bowls upside down. These are a bit soft. When I can take them off the bat without bending the plate, I'll put them over onto the drying cupboard, which right now is full of stuff. So I'll clean the drying cupboard and I'm going to get all those pots signed and ready for the kiln. I always sign my pots last. The last thing I do is sign the pot, so then I have my last chance to look at it to see if it's tidy. <laughs> I like to make sure every little, hand, every little handle is tidy, there's not a chunk of clay sitting on there, because once it's fired on, it is written in stone. I covered these last night, and I did hurry out, as you can see by the mess over there, and I didn't quite check, and this edge sat out. Uh, it has pulled up almost into a bowl. And you can see now I can take it off that bat. Now there's a good chance this is going to crack. So if I'm going to keep this plate, I'm going to wrap it all up and let it dry very, very slowly because this outside edge is dry and shrunken. The bottom that was on the board has not shrunk and so it's going to be a lot of stresses and pressures in it and it's going to break. Uh, this plate's a lot smaller. It got a big ding in the side, so I trimmed it and I just cut the ding off and now we have a smaller plate. I like the larger edges better than the smaller ones, but we do retail and I can put it in the store and if someone likes that plate, someone likes that plate. Uh, like I said, I'll get this done. I didn't do my handles yesterday. I got here late because it was Sunday and I got here late. I get my handles done today, get the studio cleaned up, get my shelves cleaned up. Get the stuff moved off and then work on product. I only have this many mats this size. I know I've got a guy who's going to order some uh, yarn bowls. I'll throw some yarn bowls. A lady who ordered the dinner set is going to order a teapot and a couple of wine coolers. So I'll make bowls, teapots, and wine coolers. And it'll be a day. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do today at the studio. We finished walking our 14 laps around the gym and now it's time to get to busy.